like vid vid links or something like that. I don't know, but yeah, I'm trying to make that paper dog. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good? No. All right, you want to get started? Sure. Yeah. Here we are at Ambrosia by Caprodite. Should I look into the mic? I'm looking at that way into the camera. We're at Ambrosia by Caprodite, and I'm here with Colin Huger, who I've had the opportunity to work with. He's a young professional, young director, artist. And uh, I feel like he's got a lot that I can learn from, or that we all can learn from. So we decided to film it and put it on YouTube. So what did you think when I approached you with this idea of like picking your brain? Uh, I was a little confused because I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's asked me to do an interview before. I was excited, but also I had some questions. <laughs> like what? What kind of questions? Why? <laughs> no. Um, uh, no, it's cool. Yeah. I. I think it's a good idea to get knowledge and like different ideas on how to go about being a creative. Um, but yeah, definitely. Yeah, like the. I just like I like working with you. Like you. Yeah. Like when, because we had met you through two brothers, and we saw their videos, and we're like, dang, if he can like make brother make two brothers look like this, like imagine what he can do with us. <laughs> <laughs> What were the differences between like work? Because you grew up with them, right? They were like yeah. I mean, I've known uh, I've known Dylan since first grade, um, so we've been friends forever. And uh, Robert and Max, I uh, went to high school with, um, so we've known them for quite a long time, and yeah. always stayed in touch and hung out. I was in a couple bands with them. I mean, I played music with Dylan all my life, and then oh, uh, oh. Max, Max and Robert, I played music with a little bit in high school. Yeah, um, and afterwards. Um, and then they were kind of my kickstart in making music videos because it was the obvious go-to to yeah, like ask somebody I knew and was familiar with. What were the differences between like working with like your homies, with your friends that you've known all your life, and then working with acquaintances that you knew like from your friends or like find your escape house? Um, well, I'd already worked. I'd already filmed with a lot of people, not music videos, but yeah. working just in corporate promos yeah. and stuff um, so that was um, it was a little different because I wanted to get more used to making music videos and I kind of want that to take off yeah. a little bit more so I think it was a little nerve wracking starting to work with a new band because either they could love or hate working with me mm. I mean two brothers would be fine working with me <laughs> because we know each other uh, but um I was a little nervous going into it. Uh, it's definitely a different experience. Yeah. Um, two brothers. Uh, I don't know. If, I know one of your questions is working on the music videos. What's the difference? Yeah. Um, there's a lot more creative freedom, I think, with two brothers uh -huh. um, because they just kind of gave me the reins. They told me what the song was about. They didn't have any story-specific things yeah. for the music videos. They just. They didn't even need me to do what the music video was about. They yeah. basically just asked uh, me to make a music video, whatever I wanted to do. Um, so cool. So just like they gave you a canvas. Basically, yeah. Um, but working on uh, your guys', mm -hmm. you guys had a lot more idea of what you wanted to do, um, which is can be really helpful uh, because Two Brothers music videos took a very long time to get done. Uh, how long did um, they take? Uh, well, Satellites took six months um, oh, yeah. <laughs> total because I was in a different city I had a full time yeah. job and I was going to school and then you had to orchestrate all those people too with the dancers and yeah we had actual we had actors come in I mean you guys had an actress come in um, but there was just a lot less planning with two brothers uh, so, yeah. where it was a lot more relaxed um, okay so did that help the creative process like I mean satellites came out though yeah. oh thank and, you yeah you're welcome that's the one that won the award, right? The yeah, that won uh, Best Rock Video uh, for LA Music Video Awards, which was dope. Uh, <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I wish I could have gone to it. I didn't get to go to the actual festival, which sucked. Uh, one thing I liked is that I remember I texted you like, hey, dude, congratulations on winning that award. And then you're like, yeah, we're about to do it. Plan your escape now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was so, like, that, that's the kind of like vibe that, you know what I mean? Like, you want to keep going. Like, oh, yeah. I, I dig it. That's dope. Yeah, the more music videos I can do, the better. Because I want to just get as much experience in it. And 
hopefully have that be like a steady income and a steady like I, I only have a music video like once or twice a year, which is super slow, um, especially if I'm trying to make a living off of it. I would love to just have that be my steady gig is just music videos. I have a couple friends in LA who are just only doing like tour photo, fo tour photography for bands and then they take like a couple months break because they made that money during their bands. Yeah. Um, during the tour, they're making a music video. So, so is that kind of what you will see yourself as, like working on a music, a music video for like a month or so, and then like, or Take, taking a break to organize another one? Yeah. I mean, ideally, I mean they don't come this often, but ideally it would just be like one music video after the next, and that would be the steady income. Um, okay. Or even like tour photography or tour videos. Uh, yeah. I wanted to ask you guys if you wanted tour videos or photography, but Heck you know yeah, that'll dude. come later if, right. you, if, you guys, <laughs> if you guys are interested. Um, I don't want to get uh, too overwhelming in the content that I do for you guys. So um, all right, I, I dig those. I dig those ideas. So you made two brothers, two videos with two brothers. Yeah. Like two videos with Pioneer Escape. Yeah. So what were the differences between like the first video with two brothers and the next video with two brothers and then first video with Planet Escape, <laughs> the second video with Planet Escape? Um, I don't usually advertise my first video with two brothers because it was really, literally the first music video that I had done and it was, um, it w at the time it turned out alright but like now I don't love it. Um, because I was really just testing everything. Uh, it was the first time I had made something to music. First time I had used the camera that I used. There was a lot more planning for the second video for satellites. Uh, I think that's the video I had spent the most time planning anyways because there was so much leisure time. That actually wasn't a paid music video. Um, so I could just spend my time like thinking about it for... Yeah. A while. We there wasn't filmed. like too much pressure to get it done. No. Yeah, definitely. Cool. And also we had, uh, when we filmed enough, there were a lot of uh, friends on site, uh -huh. on, on the set, which was really frustrating. And oh, I really? realized, it made me realize how to go about the other sets. Um, yeah. Because people were just bringing people to the set and things weren't getting done. The band was getting distracted. Uh, it was hard for me to focus on what I was trying to get done. Um, smacked the mic. I think you're fine. <laughs> um, and yeah, cool. yeah. it really, I, it made me be more strict about the other sets and the other, um, just because I knew what could go wrong. I didn't want it to go wrong again. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's a good. It's cool that you were able to practice that with your friends. Like. Yeah, that helped. Was super helpful, and they were cool about. I was really lucky to have them let me get on their music yeah. and. Uh, trust me with it <laughs> when you filmed perspectives with us will plan your escape you were like in shivering cold water or like you were in freezing cold water and shivering so what was going through your head when you were like <laughs> that was uh that was you, a, were you ready to die for your art <laughs> <laughs> it's a little embarrassing for me i think because Why? Well, because going into water was my idea in the first place, and we could have, we had the option to do a pool, and I decided against it. Um, and I just didn't think about how cold it was going to be up there. And so once we got there, uh, and we got in the water, and I realized that I, <laughs> this was going to suck to do, <laughs> um, I, uh, I was like, shit, well, I can't, they're paying me, I can't just back out of this. And so that was going through your head? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because there were, I don't know how many people there were because there were you guys were there, the actress, and then there were like those random people on the rocks. Oh yeah, they wanted to actually Everybody swim. was just staring like, at me, like waiting for me to get this over with. Uh, uh, it was a little stressful. Um, I had to kind of think about, basically I had to think about the editing process, what I actually needed to get okay. to make it work. Um, how many like seconds of footage we needed? Yeah, uh, we we even cut part of it because we planned to put you guys in the music video underwater, and I just didn't want everybody to get in. It was going to take too long, mm -hmm. um, so basically it was a shitstorm in my mind. <laughs> uh, but it came out cool. Yeah, I think it came out cool. Yeah. It, I was a little worried about it after we filmed. I was like, man, I hope this turns out. And then Clifford 
the guitarist for Pioneer Escape, who also happened to be a varsity water polo player. <laughs> that was yeah. We were so thankful. Like, I mean, I'm, I was thankful because he was able to like. I was really thankful under, because yeah. I couldn't have. He took done, the burden off you a little bit. He took a lot of the, the footage that ended up in the video. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was super helpful. But then the camera case started leaking. It did. Yeah. So what was going through your head then? Uh, when, when did you notice like the camera case leaking? Like were that you was scary because I uh, it's a new camera for me. Um, I'd never filmed underwater. I've never used the case that we used. I just rented it and hoped for the best. Um, it ended up working pretty well, but yeah. I, I remember <laughs> at the point where I was like, "Shit, I can't stay in this water too long." That's when I noticed that the camera was leaking. Um, which meant that I needed to stay in the water longer and Whoa. figure it out. Um, luckily, it wasn't leaking too much. It didn't actually touch the camera. The camera was, like, sitting above the water a little bit. Um, and I, I don't know how it even started leaking, but uh, we had to just... I just had to keep rolling and keep it going, um, yeah. even if it was going to leak. It only leaked a little bit in, like, half the time we needed to spend in the water, so I could still, I, I just wanted to risk it anyways, um, since we were all there, I guess that probably wasn't a good idea if the camera ended up dying, because but it did it, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we made it, that's so cool, I, yeah, I dig I'm your, your that. determination, <laughs> you, like that's, that's the little, those are little things that I think set you apart from, I don't know, like other, other people, maybe other people that aren't as dedicated to their craft like you definitely want it if you're willing yeah, to yeah I mean uh, other people may have even tested the camera uh, more than I did because I didn't test it really before okay. I went uh, which I probably should have done it's more of just like me being like this is my fault I need to keep going because it's my fault yeah okay but uh also I really want to get it done but yeah so what would you do differently if you had the same scenario or similar scenario um Make sure the, the water's warm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably should have gone to the location beforehand and got in the water. Uh, yeah. It was kind of, what what month did we do that? Do you remember? It wasn't that long ago. I can't remember, dude. Uh, well, it was pretty, it was the end of winter, so it was still pretty cl cold, the water. Um, and I didn't really even think about it, so I should have just done that more research into that. Uh, and... <laughs> And then, like, test, uh, test in the case. Well, that was also the first time I'd ever done anything underwater. So oh, okay. I would say next time, this is something that went through my head, but I just didn't want to do it, was uh, use the lake for the outdoor section and then cheat it and shoot in a pool yeah. for the rest, uh, which is what somebody else probably would have done. Um, I just wanted all the murkiness of the water to still be there, mm -hmm. uh, which we got. But... Uh, we could have spent a lot more time in the water if we had done it in a pool, I think. I so like that's it. what I would do differently, is yeah. shoot it in a pool. Or like a water tank or something. Okay. Yeah. At what point in your life were you like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to film, I'm going to be a photographer? Super or? late, um, I think, because a lot of filmmakers that I meet, they're like, yeah, I was filming since I was a kid. I mean, I did do some stuff when I was a kid, but I didn't take it seriously. It's not something that I wanted to pursue when I was younger. Um, I went through community college for a couple of years. Yeah, at Santa Barbara, right? Santa yeah, Barbara, yeah. yeah, Santa Barbara uh, City College. And I decided halfway through that, I went through two other majors there, astronomy and video game design. That's right. Um, cool. And neither of those, too much math for astronomy, too much math for video game design um, and so I just decided on I had always like painted when I was a kid and like yeah. drawn and done all this art so cool. I knew I couldn't really make painting profitable for me um, I didn't have that confidence but I wanted to try filmmaking so I tried it there and I ended up being pretty good at it um, so then I decided I'd go to another school and actually take it seriously yeah and i think san francisco uh, when i went there that's where it actually became serious you made it in with a screenwriting no. uh yeah i mean it, with an emphasis in screenwriting just cinema oh, specifically okay. so i learned everything but yeah. uh emphasis in screenwriting 
which is nothing like what I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Or I haven't done any writing since I graduated. Um, so, so has has school like prepared you in other ways for all of this, or yeah, just maybe you're um, finding the passion, or I mean. So I worked on, like, cinematography yeah. stuff there, directing, a, a lot of directing in school, and I think that's what helped the most, and editing. Okay. Um, directing and editing is yeah. what ended up being more helpful. And then I ended up getting a job um, yeah. directly afterwards, three days after I graduated. I started a full-time <laughs> job. Um, that's so true. Uh, and uh, that, that prepared me a lot um, mm -hmm. and got me more familiar with the cameras, uh, getting on camera. Um, or behind the camera. So what, what kind of stuff were you doing uh, on your job? Um, so I worked filming, uh, basically, I worked for a school that did uh, had guest speakers come in. Yeah. So I filmed the speakers talking to the students, um, and it was kind of like TED Talks education. Okay. Um, and I was doing that however many times a week. I worked 40 hours a week just filming and editing, filming Whoa. and editing for did, two years did you straight. you like it? Yeah. It was awesome. Um, I mean, for coming out of college, not even knowing if I'm going to get a job at, as a filmmaker, and then immediately doing that, that was great. Um, and then I ended up working on a TV show for that job um, yeah. as a camera operator. Uh, and that TV show was for Sony Entertainment. And that was pretty big and hopefully will lead to more things. Um, so, yeah, it was a good job and cool. definitely helpful after school. So as far as your creative process, you can take this any way you want, whatever your brain says. Yeah. What about your creative process is more important to you? Are there important aspects to it? You're, you're, you kind of see what you have to get done, and then like you figure out ways to get it done. Like, I don't know, but what, what's, what's up with your brain? <laughs> um, I don't know if my creative process, I, I, I guess everybody's is different, yeah. but um, usually when I... In terms of music videos, okay. um, this has always been the case when I listen to music, is some image will come up. Uh, even when I'm making like short films or anything else, um, I'll always be influenced by music and whatever image comes to my mind when I'm listening to that song or album. Um, I'll make the theme of the song fit to the image rather than creating an image for the theme, if that makes sense. Yeah, um, so, yeah. Because... I, that's just the only way I've gone about it ever. Um, Say that again. You make the theme of the so song. So if it, like when I when I hear a song, then I'll think of an image immediately from that song, yeah. um, or a couple images, and I'll make them fit together or fit to the theme rather than me trying to create something based on the theme. Okay. Say so like two brothers had their theme. Well, they had a story behind their song of satellites. Mm -hmm. Um, but I didn't know the story before I heard the song. I just listened to the song. Something came to my mind, and I made it work for what the song was about. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's, that's cool. the only creative process that I've ever gone about. That's so interesting. I dig it. I don't so, know how similar it is to everybody else's. When you say you see, when you see an image, what image did you see at first for, for Satellites, for Two Brothers? Did you see, like, them dancing in the woods like that? Um, more specifically, or less specific, not in the woods, just dancing. Um, yeah. I had this image of like somebody floating, um, just like skyward, just like slowly going, floating up. Yeah. Um, that's actually something I wanted to put in there, but it involved too much, um, like special effects that I didn't have time or money to do. Mm -hmm. um, I probably could have done it cheaply, but I just didn't have time to work it out. When you have that image, do you just kind of keep adding details to it, or keep like looking for the details in that vision you have, or? Yeah, um, basically, it just sprouts from like I get the image, yeah. figure out the theme, and then sprout it towards to work towards the theme. So like, there was one person, and I added like a couple to make it work, um, rather than like it was a mother daughter relationship in the in uh, Max's or two brothers story. Mm -hmm. um, so I added some characters and then when I was casting they ended up wanting to they all knew each other all the actors that I worked oh, cool. with um, so some of them were like related uh, they were family so oh, they, they no. wanted they, I think I needed just two people like a mother no I needed a mother two daughters um, and the person who um, the mom who 
contacted me. She's like, hey, I have like more people who want to work on this if you want more. Um, so I added one more person because they were all really talented. Um, and then it just worked out. There was no problem adding more daughters. Um, cool. So you're also a photographer and you play drums in Fofo Fox? Did, yeah. Did? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> do the different areas, do the different artistic areas of your life like blend into each other? Yeah, I, well, I think drumming more specifically work, helps working on music videos yeah. because I'm familiar with musicians. Um, I mean, I've worked, I was in like school band my entire life and then other bands outside of that, um, at, like after graduating. And so working with musicians is not a problem and I, understanding them is not a problem either. Cool. So um, that comes from just being in bands playing? Yeah, things. I mean, yeah. pretty familiar with what everybody's talking about the lingo is all the same and um, cool. get, help set up drums for <laughs> just make it go faster yeah and uh, and then photography I mean I wasn't I didn't shoot photos very much before I filmed so photography came afterwards I'd say that having done some like filmmaking is more helpful for photography um, than photography didn't influence filmmaking at all okay that's cool that's interesting yeah for some reason, I imagined it the other way, but I, li I like that. I like that I was wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> um, on our video shoot for Perspectives, uh -huh. I noticed you, like, after getting some cool angles, like, you had to bend your body in, like, some kind of awkward places. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, like, afterwards, you'd be rubbing your neck. So, like, do you, how sore do you get after filming some stuff? Like, do you I get pretty sore for, like, a couple days um, Do you do afterwards. any, like, stretches or workouts to... No, I could do it. I just am lazy. Um, <laughs> I, uh, no, I haven't done any of that. Um, it's I, I don't even necessarily need to stress my body like that. I just... Uh, that's the better way for me. I Most people will go in with, like, their camera rigs to get certain shots where I just love doing handheld. I don't know why. Um, I... Like I don't know why yeah. people have come up to be like, well, yeah, you really like handheld, don't you? I, don't, I didn't really think about it. It's just intuitively what I wanted to do. Um, so right. I could probably get a different rig to make it easier on my body, but uh -huh. it's just not the way I do it. <laughs> I dig it. That's cool. You want to go to the park now? Yeah, sure. Heck yeah. Which park is it? Is it the one that way? Yeah, the one okay. next to the parking structure. You know where that is? Uh, no, I don't think so. Right. You want to just like follow us around while we walk? Yeah, yeah, awesome. Okay, let's walk this way. Who are your dream artists that you want to work with? Like bands, dancers, actors? Do you have any? Uh, uh I don't know. I, I tend to say that I don't. Um, yeah. But like filmmakers, if I could work with a filmmaker, which I don't know if that makes sense because they're the position that I'd want to be doing huh. um, I guess Taylor Sheridan is a really good um, writer and I'd love to like do something with his work Okay. Um, I don't know if you know who that is he did like Sicario Hell or High Water uh, Wind River no. they're like uh, they're cool. old like country movies um, so Taylor Sheridan yeah so the, they influence your work or like no, I wouldn't say that. I just uh, would want to work with them. Yeah. I don't know if anybody really influences my work. Whoa. Um, all right. I'm sure they do. I'd say, like, <laughs> I can't really think of anybody that does, though. I never am like, this is uh -huh. what I want to... I never go into my work and I'm like, I want to do something like this person. I feel you. Never. That's good. I like that attitude. Um, I'd say music is more influential in my work than, oh. than actual other films. Okay. Um... What other, uh, so do you have any dream bands that you want to work with that we'd be like, oh dang, if I could like film a video for this band? Um, I want to, not specifically, but I want to get more involved in like rap music videos oh. uh, is the goal, I think. Um, yeah, I'd really like to get on those. Um, I'm like, I definitely, I mean, the only music videos I've done are uh, in the metal scene. Yeah. Um, and I really want to see what I can do in the rap scene. Mm -hmm. um, so cool. not specific artists, I don't think. All right, I can dig it. That's cool, dude. Did you know I'm a rapper? No, I didn't. <laughs> so you want a music video? Heck yeah! <laughs> this is cool. You see, the universe conspires in our favor. Isn't that weird? 
So do you feel like your dreams are coming true? No. no? <laughs> I wish. I, I feel like they're on their way. All right. Um, I don't know that they're... If I could just make things that I enjoy making yeah. and make money off of that, like overall, that's all I did. That would be that's, a dream. That's your dream. True. All right. Um, but, you know, I still have to go get a job that I don't really want to be doing. Um, like I worked uh, making corporate videos for two years and I didn't, like that wasn't my dream. Uh-huh. Um, I feel like that's a step towards your dream, though. Yeah, isn't yeah, it? You no, know what I mean? It's, it's on its like, way, yeah. but I'm not, uh, I'm not there yet. I think they are coming true. You know? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> It'd be sweet. So, what advice would you give to groups or rappers or whoever who wants to film with you? I don't know. I, I guess like, you want to sit on this tree? Sure. Yeah. It just depends on what kind of music video they want. Like, if they want to give me free reign, that's great. Yeah. Um, just kind of like have an idea of what you want to do I guess I don't even need that if they don't have an idea if, of what they want to do I can take the reins and okay. steer it one direction so um, just give me a song and I'll work with you <laughs> yeah, <basically. laughs> like if the song is good yeah. I don't know um, cool yeah I usually like to enjoy, yeah um, that's yeah. the only advice just know what you want I guess um, like, do you want me to do it do you want to give me an idea and I'll do that okay when I, once I start with the band, I'll get the idea of um, the song when they wrote it and mm-hmm. either choose to go that direction or go a completely different direction, um, see if they want to hire actors for it or if it, they want just it to be a band video, um, um, what's their budget, because yeah. that can involve, uh, it could look a lot better if there's a bigger budget, um, maybe. <laughs> We can add like special effects, get higher actors, hire more crew. Um, yeah, cool. I guess just have kind of an idea of what direction they want to go, what they want their music video to look like. So is there anything else that you want to let the people know? Let me know, let two brothers find your escape now, whoever. Um, I don't know, I guess like creatively, uh, even if you're if you're not making money on what you're doing just keep doing it it doesn't have to be a money maker just find a way to keep creating your art I guess um yeah like in the spare time that you have if you have like an hour out of the day if you're working a full-time job and you have a family and you don't have time to do it get up an hour early and do something or uh do what I did was I got a voice recorder, so on my way to work, uh, I could record ideas because I really didn't have any time. Um, Whoa. So, like, for the Two Brothers music video, I did a lot of, like, voice recording, mm-hmm. um, and I just... What ideas back. would you record? Like, what, what things would you say? I don't remember <laughs> which ones. Okay. I just, like, random things, like, this is an image I want to have in there, like, then, um, there's actually, the music videos, it was a whole original idea before, it was supposed to take place in like a warehouse there's supposed to be some car drifting uh, like car race sort of scenes um, that we just didn't get a car we couldn't get a warehouse um, so it was never put in there but I'm sure I like spoke that into a voice recorder yeah. it's like hey we need to get a car and do like this drifting scene um, that's cool when you can I interrupt for a second yeah when you like have those ideas and you record them in any way possible like I think I, I try and do the same thing I just like look at anything I can write on and I write it down I've never done that like some people yeah. say like I grab a napkin or something I've never mm-hmm. done well I always have my phone so if I don't have like a notebook I have a notebook where I put all my notes but if I don't have it with me it'll just go in my phone notes mm. but that usually gets lost like I don't check that often no. so, you're... so I I really like relying on my personal notebook which I have I always get like the moleskin notebooks yeah um, uh which are super expensive but i just like them you're, you're um, investing in your art it makes you want to like work more doesn't it yeah <laughs> that's where all my ideas are written cool. down it's uh sometimes i'll go back and find ideas that i like if I, I can't think of something at the time i'll just go back and be like oh this is cool i never did it i'll get that done thank you colin oh cool, yeah man for sure this is dope we're gonna get famous guys <laughs> heard it here you see it here Shouts out Joseph on the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Little bro. 
Heck yeah. Snap my fingers when I pound it. All right, that's it, guys. Cool. All right. All right.